Hey everybody, Phineas Rage here. This is Minecraft for Kids, and this is the underwater update. Well, the snapshot for it. Look at this guy. It's a, it's a new kind of, of zombie. They're underwater zombies. They're called the Drowned, although he looks okay to me. Let's see. Let's see if we can get under there. They changed water a bunch in this update. Oh, get back, get back. Okay, I'm sorry. I should not have done that. Why did I get in the water with him? Okay, let's let's back up. I want to show you the cool underwater stuff, and we're going to because there's a whole bunch of it. But first, I kind of have to deal with this guy. All right, so. If you don't know much about the underwater update, they've changed a lot of stuff. Uh, you can't see it around here as much because this is still uh, my old world. I haven't. I have to go further out there to see the new stuff. So we're going to go exploring the ocean a bit further and see if we can find some new stuff. There's shipwrecks and there's underwater ruins and buried treasure and all sorts of business out there. So I think the ocean goes actually much farther out in that direction. So we are going to have a little jaunt and see what we can see. But first off, oh, hello, Bertram. Bertram seems to be hanging out in the... Uh, in the boat for some reason. All right, so anyways, let's see. Let's go over here. I don't see this guy again. He's still around here. Okay, good. I don't see him. Let's go underwater and show you the cool new things. Now, underwater, you can you can see a lot better now. Look at this. So you can see a lot better close to where you are, which is nice. Oh, and there's fish. Let's go over here to fish. Now, I'll notice also I'm swimming as opposed to sinking. Oh, go up, go up, get some air, get some air. Oh my goodness. I and of course I forget. I have to be able to get up above. Oh, that's interesting. Notice that. See, it took time for my bubbles to come back there, my breath bubbles to come back. Hey, zombie guy. All right, let's go over here some more. Now, it used to be you could just, you know, pop your head out and get all your, your breath back, but now it looks like it takes some time. Now, is he going to follow me up here? No, he's just kind of hanging out. He's just kind of... Oh, okay, now he's following me. Okay, now he's coming back to, to see me. Is he going to get out of the water, though? Is that where he stays? Okay, I think he stays in the water, so that means we should be safe from him. That's good. All right, so we're going to leave Bertram in that boat. We're probably going to get another boat. I'm going to see if I can find some armor because there's lots of stuff to do out here. And I feel like I went to the nether between episodes and got stuff for potions, but maybe I didn't do that. Huh. Well, in that case, I have to make a quick jaunt over to the nether. Oh, botheration. Well, I've run into a bit of an issue. Take a look at this. So I can make an iron shirt, right? That's great. Well, iron, you know, chest plate. Which I think I should, because right now I'm wearing a, a very badly damaged leather jacket, which I don't think is going to really be of much, much use to us. And we do have to go to the nether very quickly. I know I want to do underwater stuff too, but we just got to gotta stop in real quickly. I'm pretty sure I know where there's another fortress in there. I feel like I must have done this in a previous between episodes time. In any case, we're going to go over there. It's going to grab the stuff we need for potions real quick. Come back here build ourselves a quick little brewing station and an enchanting table, and then we can make better use of the stuff we have, get some water breathing potions, and then go looking for cool stuff. All right, so off this way to the nether. All right, so I put the nether portal way out here on the other side of, of this island, because I, I we live over there, okay? And I put it over on this side so I don't have to look at it, because I, I just don't like the way they look, you know? All right, let's go in here, let's go to the nether and see, oh my goodness, see what I, see what I did in here. Okay, good. I, I did build a little enclosure. Oh, yes, and I built this thing to show me where to go. So I must I must need to go this way. Oh, my goodness. Remember, I changed the nether to be more blue because I thought that would be more interesting for me. All right, let's see. So there's a big magma cube. Oh, we can get one of him. That'd be great. We can get ourselves a fire resistance potion. Or rather, three of them. Hey, guy, come on over. You want um, Do you want to say hello to me? I forgot to build a shield before I left. Hmm, okay, well... Can we solve that? We can. All right, let's go over here and build a shield, and then we'll go deal with the Magma Cube guy, who I don't think is even really particularly interested in us right now. All right, let's see. Well, we can make ourselves a crafting table really quickly because we know how to do that. Oh, and put on our iron shirt, why don't we? Because that was kind of why we built it. Okay, put that on there. Let's see, where's our crafting table? Eek, boop, there. And we need a shield, which means you need to go there and see where, like this and like that and this way? No. Um, oh my goodness, uh, shield. How to make a shield. Like that. Thank you. There we go. All right. So, hmm. We've got a shield. We've got a magma cube guy over there. Now, I think in, in this snapshot, they've changed the way blocking works. I heard that you had to, like, step backwards and, like, do a thing. I don't know. It doesn't seem to have changed, though. We'll try it out. We'll see. It seems okay so far. Let's see if we can make it work. Hey, you up there. Let's see. I have these arrows. Will these affect you in a way that is... But that, what was that? Did you see that blue arc? What was that about? Let's try that again. Wooza! That was a cool animation. He's got those blue things coming off him. But he does not seem to be 
does not seem to be interested in us. Let's see if we can go up here a little bit. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, do, 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 do. I really do like this purplish blue a lot more. Hey, um, are you affected by these arrows? You are. Okay, great. Hey, little guys. Um, what's that? Nope. What's that? And there we go. Okay. A few more little ones. Good. Just let them come on down. Hello. And what? Like that. And the, ow. Okay. The little ones can still out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, falling off the thing. Let's stand back and let's eat some bread and think about how we want to approach this situation. All right, let's see. So they're going to come on down like that. Some bigger ones, the smaller ones. The smaller ones are okay. Let's just deal with that one. Okay, great. No problem. We're just, this is how we'll deal with this issue. Calmly, one at a time, like you. And you know what? We have a bunch of arrows, so. Oh, I can't believe I missed. Well, okay, well, never mind. We'll do it with the sword. And what's that? Do I hear a ghast? Okay, that would not be great. All right, hmm. All right, well, what are we... Okay, you know what? Let's leave these guys... We can't leave them. We didn't get the stuff we need. All right, let's go get that guy. Hopefully he drops what we need. Let's go up there. Let's leave... I think they're called magma balls. All right, let's, let's go up this way. And... Hi, man. How are you? Listen, I need resources. Do you have resources that I can have? Any of you guys? How about... No? Nothing? How about you? Y you? Uh-oh, do they change stuff, or are they just not dropping stuff anymore? Well, I don't know. It's kind of kind of disappointing. Anything over here? No, okay, we're, this is not why we're here. We're not here for this. We're here to get stuff for potions and head back to our house. So let's go over there and deal with that. Hey, guys, let's not disturb these pigmen here, because they seem very nice. Um, it's a very dangerous sort of ledge I left for myself. All right, back here we go. Oh, yes, this, this fun business over here. Hmm. I remember this. All right, so let's go over this way, and we're going to go through this pathway here. Up these oh, up these stairs. I should widen that. That was very scary. We're going to go up these stairs. Here we go. Going up these stairs. The torches remind me that we're going this way. See, I know to walk between these two torches, and that's going to get me where I'm going. Okay, so I came down that way. Very good. This is how we do it, my friends. How we remember where to go in the nether where everything pretty much looks the same. Oh, there we go. There's that nether fortress. I must have built a bridge there. Yeah, that's the one. All right, let's go over here. Now, remember, I changed the way the nether looks, right? I made the nether bricks look like marble, and I made these look different. All right, let's go over here. Jump up on this, and somewhere in there, I guess I, guess I decided to leave it for an episode. Right, somewhere in there, there should be plenty of stuff to make potions with. There should be some blazes. Hey, guy, run past that guy. Don't, don't get hit by the fireball. Keep running. It's okay. And run and jump and run and jump. Good? Okay. And hopefully he will not continue to shoot at us. And yes, are we good now? We seem to be good. All right. Let's see if we can get in here somehow. Oh, my goodness. Walking on gravel is always so nerve-wracking. Okay. Let's just go. Let's go in. Let's go in to one of these. That's always the best way, I think. Just dig in from the side. Don't go looking for a door. Make your own door. Let's see. Can we get up into there? No? Nothing yet? All right. Let's see. Make some room. Let's dig up. There's got to be, there's got to be a floor in it somewhere. Come on. Oh, yep, that looks good. That looks promising. Okay. Gonna dig away a little stairway there. Okay. This is this is the way to do it, my friends. Okay. Right, boom and jumping up and in we go. And okay, okay. It looks so much nicer in here, doesn't it? Isn't it so much cooler looking? All right. So we need to make a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So remember, there's all about this place right here. Okay. Let's see, sometimes, well, usually, the nether wart and stuff we need is down um, at the bottom of a staircase. So that's what we're going to look for. We're going to look for staircases going down, and then usually they open up into small rooms, like, oh, here we go. But first, oh, treasure chest. Okay, let's not get distracted. We took some turns, so let's make sure that we mark where we, we went so we, we don't get lost. All right, so we know we go back through that way, and we'll get to the stairs. All right, off we go over here. We found the treasure chest. We found that. Taking a quick peek around the corner here and over here. Oh, more treasure chests. More treasure chests. Okay, so let's grab this one. What do we get? Oh, nice. We can wear that. Some more gold. Fantastic. Okay, great. And I should maybe take the chest. I'll leave the chest. I'll leave the chest. All right, let's go over here. Take a look around over here. I know I'm just here to get potion stuff, but if we can get treasure at the same time, that would be great. Oh, like okay, great. Okay, here we go. Let's grab some of this. Okay, gold sword. That's fine. Oh, flint and steel. That's nice. All right. Um... Okay, we'll deal with that momentarily. In the meantime, we came back through here, right? Yes, and we're going to want to go down this. That's where we're going to want to go. Okay, so first let's grab this treasure chest, 
Take a quick look. Oh, nothing. No monsters, no monsters. Good deal. And maybe something around here? No? Okay, nothing. This is good. This has been a pretty... Oh, good. Nether ward. Well, technically, we could leave now, I guess. Actually, no, that's not true. We need blazes. All right, let's keep going. Looking for more blazes and stuff to find. Nothing down this way, maybe? It's a long, long tunnel. Well, nothing really down that way. So let's see if we're good on these stairs. Ah, this feels, feels promising. Let's see what we can find over here. Do, do. Hey, guy. Oh, don't want to attack those guys accidentally there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so... Oh, no treasure chest. Oh, what luck. Okay, pretty good day we're having here. So let's grab some of this. We're going to grab some... Some soul sand, too, to plant the nether ward in. Let's see, let's dig that up. You can use a shovel, too, but it's pretty quick just to do it with your hands. So we're going to grab just some of this, just enough we can plant a bunch of this when we get home. All right, and some extra. Take a quick look around here. Another treasure chest. Okay, let's mark it again. See, I keep getting distracted by all this treasure, but you can't blame me, can you? I mean, treasure is treasure, so let's go get some of it and see what we find. Maybe some cool magic books, maybe some more horse armor that we can't really use because the horse is... There's no place to really ride the horses to, right? Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, glowstone. I should get some of that, too, while we're down here. Ooh, this is cool. Pretty cool. All right, I'll see. Well, but I see no monsters yet. That makes me concerned. Whenever I come to the nether and I don't see things, I get worried. Oh, there you go, horse armor. And that's cool. Let's see, we'll get some obsidian, which... Oh, a saddle. Let's go put that on Bertram and ride him around. All right, um, hmm... Well, I've seen a lot of these guys, but no other monsters yet. And again, I, I am always concerned when I don't see that. All right, um, let's see. Like, what? Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's take a look at Let's make sure we weren't dreaming. And that seems to be real. That's pretty real. Um, okay, I should leave that there, actually, just until I know I'm going home. Because, oh my, I don't want to... Look at that. What is that? It's, is that seven diamonds? That's amazing. Okay, well, we're going to... Definitely come back for that. That might actually be... Oh, hello. That might actually be a good enough reason to um, just go home. I don't know. You know, we didn't find any blaze rods, and we need to find blaze rods. So I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to go looking for blaze rods and come back for this at a later date. Oh, my goodness. Well, such a lucky find that was. So I think I'm going to go over here. I'm going to dig up into there, and I bet... I bet there's... Oh, that's cool. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah, a long way down. All right, we're going to try to get up in here and see if we cannot find ourselves a blaze spawner, just so we can get some blazes and get out of here. Get the blazes out of here. Get it? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, more treasure? Nothing? Oh, I must have been up here already. Yes, it looks like I have been up here. Yeah, there's the whole thing over there. There's the thing over there. All right, well, you know what? I am going to go get those diamonds. I'm going to go get those diamonds. Let's see. Do I have any extra chests with me? I think I have at least one. All right, we're going to take that, get the diamonds, put them somewhere safe, maybe all the way back home, and then come back here looking for looking for a blaze rod. All right, well, let's see. Hmm. All right, we're back at the place where I came in, and I've got all the diamonds, I've got the obsidian, but now... Oh, there it is. Look, that's, that's where the blaze spawner should be. I really hope it's there. Remember that other time I tried to make a world and the nether didn't work properly? Let's see, there's those guys. I can try to get some of those, see if I can get some fire resistance potions out of them, but I'm worried. I haven't seen any blazes, haven't seen any withers, haven't seen anything really going on in here. I wonder what it is. I wonder if the snapshot made some things different in the nether. I see a ghast up there. Let's take a look. Oh, this is, this is, this could be unfortunate. Oh, that's shooting at me. All right, let's see. Oh, no, there's, okay, there's a blaze spawner. That's great. But why, oh, there's a, why are there no blazes coming out of it? Is it because, I don't know, why are there no blazes coming out of this? What, what is happening here? All right, one second, let's see. Hmm, check the difficulty. I'm definitely on, on hard. I don't know why there's no, there's no dudes coming out of this. All right, well, hmm, okay, that's too bad, guys. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go back home, and we're going to have to use creative to make some, some blaze rods, just because I don't know why that's not working. Um, maybe there's another one, though? Maybe there's another one around somewhere that is working? And again, I've got all these diamonds on me. I don't know why I'm sticking around. Well, something about the snapshot must have broken this particular part of the nether. I don't know why the blazes aren't spawning and why there's no wither skeletons, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to go back home with these seven diamonds we found in the nether wart, and we're just going to make ourselves a couple blaze rods so we can do the whole potion thing. All right, so uh, here we go.
Here we are back from the nether and that is great. So I have the soul sand planted here. I put a bunch of nether wart in there that will grow slowly. And then we'll go over here. I have one of these. I should make another one just to show you how it works. So let's see, I think it's just the cobblestone, right? And then that, yeah, there it is. So one blaze rod, three cobblestone and boom, a brewing stand. Give me that, all right, put that there. You can go on the ground next to this one. And the next thing we're going to need well, we should probably go to sleep, actually, and here is why. I'll tell you why. Let's get this off the bar. Here is why. In the 1.13... Oh, my goodness! Oh, they do come out of the water. They do come out of the water. All right, let's... Mm, okay, let's, let's walk over here. We have an axe. Let's get the axe. We don't want to accidentally hit a cow. Ow! What the... Where... They threw tridents at you? Oh, what is this? Why am I living on an island? This is terribly dangerous now. Okay. Did you throw that at me? All right, where's that? Let's get the shield back. Let's first off get into the house, which I probably should have made safer now. I probably want better doors. Okay, he's hiding out there. Let's see if we can get that shield back. And boom, take that. All right. Let's see. And hit. There we go. Get the shield on there and the, the axe. And let's see if we can go deal with him. Um, we should probably sleep soon, too. And here's why. Again, not only because there are dangerous super ninja nighttime swimmy zombies like this guy over here, or ones that throw tridents at Let's go see. If, oh, are you in the... Well, okay. The good news is I think he might be trapped in that boat now. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about him. Let's see if this... Can we get this? Oh, are you going to throw one, too? Are you, oh, he's going to throw one! Oh, my goodness. They're everywhere. Oh, oh no. Oh, that, hit, that hits very hard. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Whoa, there's another one. Okay, let's see. Let's go in here. Let's see if we can just... Maybe we go to sleep. Maybe they won't... What do you mean I can't rest? There's monsters nearby. Oh, I know there's monsters. That's why I want to rest. Oh, my goodness. This is very dangerous. Okay, well, let's see. What can I do? What can I do? I, I will... Hmm. All right, so I have an axe. That's good. I also have a bow and arrow. I don't have a lot of food. Oh, I do because my beef is in here cooking. All right, let's try to get some of this. And then we're going to need to try to clear our island. All right. Um, let's see if we can take these guys out with with the bow. Want to heal up a little more, please? No? Is that is that what I get? All right. Here we go. This is what we got. Um, how about you? Can we... What's that? Did hit you with that? Okay. That's not so bad. Oh. Oh, wow. He... Oh, those hit really hard. Oh, no, no. Get out. Get in the house. Get out of, get out of the way of that guy. Wow, okay, so those are very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. How are we going to deal with you? Am I trapped in my house? Am I trapped in my house by by water zombies with tridents? You know, maybe maybe these beach houses aren't the best idea anymore. Usually you could just leave them nice and open and let the cool ocean breeze in, but it does not seem that is a, a wise choice anymore. Hmm, okay, well... We might just have to wait this out. Is it possible to do anything useful in here while we wait? Maybe we can maybe we can sneak over here. Sneak over here. No, nope. what? And who's that? There okay. This might be we might be able to do it this way. Haha! -ha! Whoa, okay, no, oh he's mad. He's mad. He's so mad now. Alright, let's see. And what's that? Oh, wait, is there another one behind the No, that was just that one. Okay. And what's that? Oh, we got him! We got him. Okay, let's see if we can... Are we... Hey, who are you? Okay, no, that guy's fine. I think we hit him with the sword earlier. Let's make sure we clear this. Can we have these? I don't think we can have these. I want it, though. All right, well, let's see. I know we can build our own. Just kind of... Oh, look, a regular zombie. That's that's so nice. Just to have a regular old zombie nearby. All right, let's see if we can clear this guy and clear the guy in the boat, and maybe then... Maybe, wow, that's interesting, particle effects. Are doing. Maybe then we can finally sleep. And the reason we want to sleep, not just because of the terrible nighttime water zombies, but also because of a new mob called the Phantom, which it flies, it flies and it comes looking for players who don't sleep. So let's, uh, let's make sure to get some sleep. All right, here we go. Let's take out this guy. Hopefully this is enough. And two, and another one. There we go. That's all that took. Okay, Bertram, you, you feeling better about that? Thanks for... That was very brave of you, Bertram. Oh, what's this? Notice as well. Look at this. It's floating. Now objects float in the water. That's cool. All right, let's go over here. No more diving down to the bottom of the ocean to find your stuff. Floats right up here to you. All right, can we finally sleep now? Let's see if we can finally get some rest over here in this bed. Well, okay, that is much better. Hopefully that 
fixes things. How's our armor doing? Well, our boots are gone forever, but that's that was to be expected. They were on the way out anyway. So let's see. Did we make ourselves another brewing stand? I thought we did. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, but now we need to get some glass with which to make bottles. So where did I put? Let's see. I put a bunch of glass panes. That's not going to help us. Let's grab. All right, let's grab some of this, and we'll start this cooking. And you can go in there. How about you go in there? And where is our coal? I feel like we used to have a bunch of it. Let's just put half of it in there. Why not? That's crazy, right? All right, we're going to wait for that to cook, and we'll be right back. Well, nothing terribly exciting came out of that, but now that we have glass, we can make three bottles uh, per piece of glass, and that's great. So we actually want to make, well, just three. Yeah, we're going to start off with just the three because we're just going to make ourselves some water breathing potions. Put this over here and that over there, and there, here we go. We right click these like that, and they become full water bottles, and th those don't stack. So make sure you have enough room in your inventory, and put those in there, and just click these right into there. And we're going to take another wart, that's the first thing. And then we need a blaze rod. All right, we, sorry, we don't need a blaze rod. What we need is blaze powder. So let's turn both of these into blaze powder. There we go. And you take one blaze powder and that fuels the brewing stand. OK, so these are going to, you know, brew. OK, this is another wart. This is how fast it's brewing. This is the fact that it is brewing. OK, that's the fuel we have remaining. Plenty. And once it gets through here, these are going to be not just water bottles. I think they're called awkward potions. Just they don't do anything, but it's awkward potions. And boom, awkward potion. Great. OK, so now that we have this, we take one of these puffer fish. She's going to go in there. Hello. Thank you, puffer fish. And it, too, will become a, a potion ingredient. OK, so here we go. This awkward potion will then become a potion of water breathing, which is great because we want to breathe under the water because that is where we want to go. So here we go. Are you a potion yet? You can do it. And water breathing. OK, three minutes. Not bad. But if we take this redstone, we can make it last even longer. I think eight minutes is what we'll get. So we're going to let that brew. Is there anything else we need to do while we're here? Now, let's just put this in here and save those for bottles. And you can go there, you can go there, and you can also go there. We could use this to make a strength potion. Let's do that. Let's make ourselves some strength. But let's actually get the glass back. Let's get it all back. All right, let's see. We're going to make ourselves some more of these. And I think I heard a glug, glug, glug. Is that a new effect that means these are done? Yes. OK, so we get three of them. They last eight minutes each. Let's put that there. And we could have two sets of these going at once now, but I just want more another wart. See, this is why I always, here's the problem with potions. You have to keep going back and forth. And there's lots of little things to put places, and that goes there. And there's not a lot of great ways to automate it. And you need to put water in the bottles, or else it doesn't work at all. All right, so you go here, boom, boom, and boom. Great. And soon these will be potions. And then we'll put this in there and make them strength potions. And we'll take the redstone and make it longer strength potions as well. We could also take, wait, is that it? Okay, it's a cow. I thought it was another water zombie. And what are doing up here? All right, where was I saying I was going to do? I don't know. We're going to make more potions. Strength potions. Oh, yeah, I could put glowstone in the strength potion or the water breathing potion. Well, no, not the water breathing potion. Sorry. I could put glowstone into the strength potion and certain other potions. And what that would do is, is make it a stronger potion, but it wouldn't last as long. And you know what? We're also going to do this. We're going to grab some of these. We're going to make some speed potions because we can take this. And I like, I like growing this here because it, it breaks the line of sight from the water. So my hope is that I can surround my entire island with reed, sugarcane rather, like this. And then those water zombies won't see me and they won't come looking for me at night. And I can just hang out on my island all safe and sound. All right, here we go. Uh, this was my plan originally. All right, so I have some of this. Let's go back. Uh, we're going to make some maps. We're going to do all sorts of stuff because we're going to go exploring. We want maps now. Let's see. And so we need paper as well and speed potions. So let's see. We're going to take you. Let's just make three pieces of, yeah, OK, there we go. We'll take that, six pieces of that, and we're going to turn this into sugar. And the sugar we will use for these potions over here. All right, and are these done yet? Those are awkward potions. OK, you can go in there and become those. And let's go over here, make some more bottles, and get the speed potions going as well. So this is this is the potion stuff, right? Remember how I said, I don't know if I'll do a potions episode. Well, this is kind of it, but mostly it's about the water. All right, you go in here. And you can go there, and you can go there. We have all those things, and I forgot to get another wart. And do you see? Do you see why I'm always like, oh, here we go, let's make potions? Because I keep doing all this little clicky bit. Oh, and where's the where's the blaze powder? I need this as well. Look at this. You see, it's it's all sorts of stuff. And you're saying, Finn, just put it all, just put it all in your bar at once. And I say that would that would have been a really good idea. And now we will wait. So I remembered that in order to make a map, I need to make a 
compass, which is my last four iron, so hopefully we find some good stuff I can use somewhere else. And I think I need to also now make this also into paper. Nope, sorry. Paper. Eh. Paper. Okay, good. And I believe I then surround this compass with paper like so. Yes, and now I have a map. Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. Let's go over here, see if the potions are done brewing, and then we're going to check our map and see where on that map we are. And there we go. Take it. Oh, you can hold it in one hand. That's cool. And I'll right click. Oh, it is. So I right clicked and put the map right up there. If I right click again, what happens? Okay, I have to cycle off the map. Oh, good. Oh, I can just hold the map up like this. That's cool. So this is where we are. This is this is nice. And I would like the map to be much larger. And I think there's ways to do that. I'll have to do that later because I'm really I don't have a lot of redstone and, and iron with which to make more maps. Okay, well this hmm. This map will not be as useful to us as I hoped it would be, because as you can see, I, I can already see all the stuff that's mapped. I know exactly where I am over here. All right, well, let's put the map away, because I don't I don't think this map is going to be of much use to us. Um, map, actually, here. We'll just keep you in the inventory, just in case you become useful. Now, all of our potions should be done by this point. Uh, yep, there's our potions of strength. Oh, wait, put those back. Put those, put those back. And I'm going to put in the redstone to make those longer lasting and how about you guys you're not speed potions yet put some of this in there the sugar makes them the speed potions just need the one in there all right pretty good so far what else should we do we should get ourselves our respiration helmet so now we're gonna have the the water breathing right but i think respiration might still help well i don't know let's see if it still helps with the uh, underwater vision let's take a look here we go. let's go under the water and as you can see the stuff that's close to us much easier to see Okay, that's that's good. I'm going to put on the helmet. Doesn't seem to have really changed anything. Okay, that's good, but it will help us breathe longer if we run out of, uh, of water-breathing potions. And remember, this trick will no longer work, I think, right? Where I, I just put the torch down and I... Okay, it works a little. Okay, I guess you can keep doing that. Okay, you just keep spamming the torches and you'll be able to refresh your your breath. Not as, as well as you could before, but... Just in case. Oh, look, and the torches go flying up into the... That's funny. Any torches up here? No, I got them all back. Okay, good. Nighttime again. Oh, we know what that means. Ooh, there we go. And sleep. I think I might be sleeping a lot until I can finally set up my, my sort of barrier of sugar cane, which I really hope will keep the zombies from, from coming on over here. Oh, there's a torch in the water. I'm going to leave it there. All right, are you guys done being potions yet? Yes, your speed potions. Put some more of you in there. And you guys should be... Potions of strength for eight minutes. Okay, great. Great. This should be this should be pretty good for us to go adventuring. Do I have enough steak left? I have plenty of steak. All right, let's take that with us as well. You can go there. And we don't need all of you on the bar at first. This is probably okay, right? And we have decent armor. I am going to take some diamonds, and we're going to make some iron boots. Okay, just because we have a few diamonds to spare, so that should be... That should be fine. Boots. There's a boot there, and there's a boot there. Okay, two boots. Okay, boom. And boots, please. Oh, very nice. Oh, cover me with diamonds. Look at that. You just need the one the one diamond? Okay, that's cool. Let's see. What else should we do before we leave? I suppose if this is still brewing... Well, I guess we can try to make a book. Yeah, we can make a book. Let's get some more paper. We should just grab some more. Let's grab a whole bunch of it. But we're going to grab some paper, and I've got some leather already. And once we have that, we're going to make ourselves an enchanting table. And then we'll, we'll enchant these diamond boots, hopefully get some, some cool stuff, maybe Depth Strider, that would be cool, probably helps a lot. And see what, what we can get on this, uh, on this chest here. Alright, let's see, so we need some of this, okay, we need that right there, now we have the leather, we have leather, we will make paper. Let's make just, uh, I think just one more thing of paper, right? That works, yes, and the paper goes around like this, like that, and this goes in here, and now we have a book. Okay, fantastic, let's go over here, grab this. And I think we need two of these, two diamonds, and four of these. That sounds right. That that sounds right. Okay, let's make this. We take the obsidian. It goes like this. We take the diamonds. They go here. And then we take the book. The book goes up here. And enchanting table. Oh, my goodness. We are champions. Now, let's take this. And where do we want to you know, put it here? Eventually, we'll want to move this and have bookcases around it to make it more powerful. But in the meantime... Do we not have lapis lazuli? If we don't have lapis lazuli, then I've just wasted a lot of time. I don't have any lapis lazuli. Okay, well, hmm, that, that kind of throws a wrench in the plans. Without lapis lazuli to power this table, we can do... 
nothing about it. What should I do? Should I go down? Should I go down to the mines and find some lapis lazuli? I mean, I probably have some time, right? I don't know. I'm kind of impatient to get going. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about this. Well, I went down to the mines. I grabbed a little bit of lapis lazuli. Let's see what we can get here. Um, this protection one that would be pretty good. All right, let's put you in here. Two, three of you. All right, great. Spends four levels. We have thirteen, and boom, we'll take that. All right, good for us. And the boots. Let's put something on the boots. Hopefully, something a little better. Um, also protection. No. Okay. Let's see. So here's the trick we can do. Right? We can enchant something else. Let's enchant something not bad. Let's take there. How about this? You go there. Knock back sharpness. Okay. We'll take the one sharpness. That's pretty cheap, right? And give me that. Oh, wait. Give me that. Okay. Now we have sharpness. Fantastic. And how about the boots? Can the boots now? Yes. The boots. Hmm. Well, let's give it a shot. Maybe we'll get protection and something else. All right. So let's see. Let's put the three in there. We've got the levels and who do we get? Eh, protection. Okay. Well, you know what? Good. Fine, fine, fine. Put all these things back on. Got some magical armor. Got a magic sword. Not bad. And I think we have, well, the things we're going to need then. All right. So we got boats. Do I have boats? I got a boat. I got potions, all sorts of stuff. I got a bunch of materials. I want to get a few more blocks of that because we are going to make a sort of uh, station once we get down there, a sort of sort of place to build another bed someday. All right, here we go. Put this in here. And do we have everything we need? Let's take those potions of speed. Great. And we're going to get in a boat and we're going to go that way and see what we can see. Bertram, you may not come with us, Albert. It's probably very dangerous over there. So Maybe I'll get one of the other boats. Is there a boat over here without an animal in it, maybe? Because Bertram, if you're happy there, I don't want to get... Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, great. So we take this boat. We're going to go around that way and see if we can find some new ocean stuff, like these cool fish. All right, well, let's, let's see what happens. So I came from way over there, okay? Now, if I go over that way, I can't turn around all the way in this way. If I go... There we go. Over that way... I finally have gone far enough away to get new ocean stuff to Jen, so we can see all the cool new ocean stuff. But here's what I want to do. So I want, there's a little island right there, I think, where I want to put a, a little marker. But I'm going to put a marker here, like this, okay, and like, oops, like that. There we go. So we know to go that way, and we're going to go down here to this, and just make a, a nice little station, maybe. Put some torches here, just so we know where we're going. Actually, this is perfect. Look at this. So if you put this over here, Put a torch right there and a torch right there. And then we will know uh, that if we go whoop, over here, boop, and if we go here, we follow all the way along there, right? We get to this point, we're like, oh, look at those things. And we'll go through this gate we're making here, right? This sort of torch gate. We're going to say, oh, look, a torch and a torch, go through it, and boom, there you go. Oh, uh, there you go. See it? Let's take a look. Oh, it's just some new stuff. Oh, very exciting. Look at all that. Look at all that stuff over there. There's all sorts of underwater stuff and... Land, okay, so maybe not a whole bunch of ocean, but maybe there's cool stuff in there anyway. Probably, you know, mer people down there and stuff. So let's uh let's just jump out of the boat. Let's take let's take a look. Let's take a water breathing potion just in case. Um here we have to drink it here. Alright, and here we go. Glug. Alright, and boom, out of this we go. Ooh, wow. This is cool looking. All right, so we have about eight minutes where we can breathe water, and that should be fine. And there's not a really good way to, to mark where we are. So let's remember, we want to be going back north. Okay, so we're going south this way a bit. Away from that, look at a cool fish. There we go. Don't see a lot of reed yet. Are we not really close enough? Oh, here we go. This is where the new stuff starts. Let's see, and can we swim? How's that work? So, okay, if we... Okay, we can go up, we can jump to go up, and hit crouch to go down. That's cool. Oh, but look at this, and now they have all these cool things. Look at this, underwater stuff. Oh, nice, there's this sort of kelp and stuff, and what what happens down here? Look, there's, um, that not that interesting, but still, never seen anything like that underwater before. Oh, look, there's some of those evil zombies. Okay, let's see, how do we, uh, let's put this on our bar. Uh, let's take the strength potion. Okay, and here we go. And what's that? Okay, good. This is working so far. Underwater combat, not that bad. Swimming around. And there we go. Oh, good. Not that bad. Once we have our stuff with us. Okay, did they drop anything cool? Wow, look at you guys. Oh, you guys are... Oh, I forgot. We can make aquariums, too. If I had a bucket. Oh, I should have brought a bucket. I could grab a fish. 
Okay, well, we'll come back for fish later, maybe. Let's, what's under here? Anything cool? Look at this. We can go under this just like it's a cave. Well, I guess it is exactly a cave. Let's sink on down some more. Oh, this is cool. Underwater caves. That's new stuff. Anything cool under here, though? Or just... Oh, wow. It just keeps going way, way down. Now, we can't place torches. <laughs> we can't place torches to figure out where we, we came from. There's iron down here. That's cool. This goes back up. Oh, nice. And probably back out again. Okay, so this is a good reason to get aqua affinity, I suppose, if you wanted to mine stuff underground. This is nice. Oh, look. Also, I think there's a... How do we how do we make the... Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a swimming animation. Oh, that's cool. I had to hit the uh, the run button for that to happen. Okay. Let me, uh, let me try to change that around. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so that's this is much better. So when you hit the run button, just look where you want to go, and that is the direction in which you will swim. And make sure you're pressing forward, of course. Oh, well, this is pretty great. Okay, so this is cool. So what else, what else can we find under the water here? Anything else interesting? Anything else cool? Probably one of these places would be a good place to put that sort of exploring station, right? Because we want to make... I don't know, we'll make a place to come back to. Hmm. And where are you, boat? Is that you? That is the boat. Oh, and it's nighttime. That's that's part of the problem, I see. I'll swim on over to the boat. And what are we going to do? I guess we should get in the boat. That'll be safe, right? And then we'll find a little place to to build a station. Of course, we don't have the bed with us, and I probably should have brought the bed. Hmm. All right, so the cool stuff starts over there. And the stuff we remember starts from over there. That's where the gate is. All right, so then let's try to find a little place... No, let's, let's follow this. Let's follow the coastline. Maybe something cool happens over here. Maybe there's some, some cool stuff we can check out. Wow, look at this. Look at all this kelp. Let's find all this kelp just floating here. Oh my goodness. Something must be... That's funny. Something must be breaking the uh, the kelp stalks down. I didn't realize I could even do that. Okay, I'm going to eat some uh, some steak real quickly. And then I'm going to drop under here. Let's see how this works. Can we, can we break these things? Let's... Uh, Hold shift to go down. Let's see, what happens? Do I, do I smack at this? Oh, look at that. It, okay. Well, I wonder what we can do with this. I bet we can do something with it. Maybe not now, but eventually, I'm sure. Okay, that's pretty cool. Where's the boat? All right, so I'm going to keep trying to find something else to do underwater. Look at this. Regular zombies walking on down into the water. I think they're going to become the other types of water zombies pretty soon. So let's, I don't know, let's try to get them first. Let's try to get them before that even happens. And boom, I do love having the strength potion on, and the sharpness on the sword helps a little bit as well. Still looking for cool stuff. So right, I'm going back to the boat. Well, I found my house. Looks like that was, that's funny. It didn't actually go nearly as far away as I thought I may have. Hmm, all right, so we'll have to go back past that at some point. But first, let's go home and sleep, because we don't want that phantom thing coming after us. I don't see it yet, and I don't know what it sounds like. I've seen what it looks like. It's a big, flat, flying thing, and it's really, really dark, so it's hard to see it at night. So, hopefully we don't see it anytime soon, because I don't know I don't know how to deal with those things. All right, let's go to bed. Let's go into bed. So, we tried one direction. It wasn't that interesting. We're going to go in this direction, see if we can't get farther out to ocean, see if we can get some cool stuff to spawn, some ruins or some... Some shipwrecks, maybe. I've heard you can also find shipwrecks on the beach sometimes. So we might stick kind of close to the shore if we start running out of ocean and see if we can find something cool. All right, here we go. Look, there's all the new ocean stuff. That's pretty cool. We're going to put a little marker here on the edge of this just so we remember where we are and which way we're going. That could be a... Whoop, whoop. My computer froze. That could be a good place to put a little station. So we'll see. Let's go over here first. Take some torches. we got a few left. And so we can go boom, boom, and there we go. So that direction. Okay. So home is that way, or rather that way until we hit the coast, and then that way. And not too far. So I've got this here. This is a great little place, I think, to, to get started with our station. I saw some pretty exciting stuff over that way, I think. So let's let's go. Do we have... Let's take this water breathing potion, put it over there, just in case. Okay, so let's drink it now. Let's drink it now, right? No time like the present. And we'll drink the strength potion if we see uh, any any bad things getting close to us. All right, here we go. And under the water we go. Ooh, oh, a turtle. Oh, we need turtle stuff. Okay, so what do we do? Do we attack the turtle? 
We might. Oh, look, underwater ravines. Okay, don't get distracted. There's a turtle. What do we do with the turtle? Hmm, swim after the turtle. Hello, turtle. Hi, what are we supposed to do with you? Do I hit you with a sword to get your turtle shell stuff? I don't know yet. I don't want to just needlessly hit turtles with swords. Look at you. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, let's, let's, let's put the let's put this away. Oh, see, hit F1 to put the UI away, and we can just kind of swim around here. Right, there's turtle. Hey, turtle guy. How are things with you? You having a good time? Are we still breathing? I should put the UI back on so we know if we're still breathing. That's important. Oh, yeah, we're still breathing. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can go under here and see if we can find anything interesting. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, exciting. That's pretty deep. Let's see. Anything else happening? Oh, it goes through there. That's kind of cool. We still have plenty of water breathing, so we should be okay. Swimming along, right? Is that? Yep, swimming along. Great. Okay, and can we get through here? Anything cool? Um, I guess this in itself is also cool, but all right, nothing... Nothing mind shattering yet though, but this is a cool kind of thing. I like this. I like the way it looks. Nice underwater ravine, cool stuff here. I know that some of these go deep enough down that you can see bedrock, not bedrock, uh, obsidian and sort of magma blocks and, and that sort of thing. But we haven't seen anything like that just yet. So let's go up here and see what we can find. Maybe, maybe just maybe we can find something cool like underwater ruins or a shipwreck. I'm really hoping for one of those things. Let's swim up this way a bit. What can we see here? So we know... Okay, so that's the station over there. That's where we want to return. Let's keep swimming. I'll, I'll put this... There we go. I know we have plenty of time for air, so I'm going to put the the UI away with the F1 key. And we can just look around this, this beautiful ocean landscape we have here. And just hopefully I won't get lost. Okay, so that... See that guy? He's got a trident. So we're going to... Stay away from him. There's lots of these guys around now. And I haven't found any ruins, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the boat. We're going to call this a successful first venture into the ocean. And we'll call it a day. No, wait, ruins. Oh, we found ruins. Look at that. And a ship! Oh my goodness, just when I just when I gave up. Look at that. Just when I gave up, we found all this cool stuff. All right, we're going to take the strength potion because there are a lot of the bad guys around. Oh my, there really are. And we're going to get that other water breathing potion. No, that's... There we go. Okay, and fight this guy first. Okay, and then we have the other water breathing potion, which we're going to take because we're running out of air. Okay, let's just... Glug, 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 glug. Okay, good. And now we... Whoa, those guys are fast! They are fast under the water. Did you see how quick they were? Um, wow, they take a lot of damage too, and I have a strength potion and everything. Okay, well, we took care of that. That was oh, another one. How many? Oh, did, oh, that one's got a trident. Oh no, no, no! This is this is not great. Uh, let's get in here and get all this stuff. This is what I, the luck of the sea. That's pretty good. Okay, well, oh my goodness, what? What did I? Oh, I, it's a magma block. Whoa! Okay, we gotta get out of here. That guy's. Uh oh, swim, 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 swim. I wonder if a speed potion will help me under the water. I don't know if it will. Hopefully we can get some distance from those guys, though. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of this empty bottle. There we go. Um, where's the speed potion? Take you. Get you. Uh. Glug, 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 glug. I think that worked. Yes, it do seem to be going a bit faster. But I want to go back to that shipwreck. So, whoa, and there's these guys. Hey, guys, um, he's got a trident still. Okay, well, let's see if we can swim this way with the speed potion. Maybe I can eat some steak. Ow, yeah, and he hit me with the trident when I did that. So, okay, swimming, swimming, swimming. Let's see if we can get inside this boat. Maybe we can hide inside the ship. Oh, this is all very exciting. Now, let's take a look. Oh, hey, guy, um, I can probably fight you. Yeah, feel pretty good about that. There's a trident guy, though. Okay, so let's get let's get some cover. Let's get, oh, wow, gold. Get that, get that. Okay, back down. Don't get greedy. Oh, good, these are trap doors. Okay. Okay, now we're in here, and we have... Oh, my. Ooh, Frostwalker. That's exciting. Oh, and leather pants with mending. That's weird. Oh, hey, but great. Wheat and potatoes. Wait, are those all poison potatoes? Those are all poison potatoes. Okay, that's not going to really help us. So we're going to leave those there, and we'll take this. This is great. Okay, what else can we do while we're under here? It's very cool. What's in here? Oh, is this special? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's very dark. And, oh, here we go. Not bad. What's in this? Nothing. There, not, there's nothing in there. 
That's completely empty. I guess they took all the... Oh, there it is. That was very odd. I guess it took a moment to figure out what it was. Ooh, a buried treasure map. Oh, hello. Oh, this is exciting. Let's take a look. Hmm. Um. It, hmm. I, I can kind of barely see it. So I guess it's... Are we the red one? But how do I how do I get this thing out of my... Right, can I get this off my bar? Yes. Okay, now there we go. So where am, where are we? So there's the buried treasure is the red thing. But I don't know where we are. So that's curious. Let's see, how much water breathing do I have left? Five minutes left of that. I'm still pretty fast. I wonder, do I see myself on there? We're going to check that in a moment. Oh, look, there's more guys. All right, let's see. Is there anything else we can do while we're here in the boat? So we... That was cool. We did that. I think that might be it. Oh, is anything else over here? Maybe. Maybe another room in here? Yes. This is indeed another... How can we get... How can we kind of chop through you? I hope so. This can take some time because we're underwater. Oh, not so bad, actually. That's cool. Look at that. They used some upside-down stairs there. Whoa, oh, my goodness. Oh, my... Oh, my good goodness. Let's grab a bunch of this. I don't need this. Uh, let's take some of this. I guess I don't need these. Um, okay, I think I hear them. Ow! Yep, trying to come after me. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those he was throwing at me. Um, hmm. Okay, my water breathing seems to be... Up okay. Uh, no, still got four minutes of that left. Okay, I'm gonna here's what, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat the steak. I'm gonna try to heal up, and then I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Oh my goodness! Can I get out the side here? Can I dig my way through? That might be my best bet. I don't know. Actually, now it feels like oh good. Okay, this this might do it. Here we go. We're gonna try to get out of here. We're gonna get out of this. Dig through it. Okay, there we go. And now uh, swim, and swim, and swim, and swim. Okay, wow, so many of them. Oh, my goodness. And, okay, that one's got to try it. So stay far away from him and keep swimming in this direction, hopefully as fast as we can. Oh, I heard a trident being thrown at me. I believe, let's see, if we go up this way, we should be able to find the station back in that direction because I really did not stick to the plan. I saw that ship, and I was like, let's go over there. So that's what I did. I do wish, again, I, again, I wish I had a bucket with me, because then I could be taking these fish home and making an aquarium. But now, whoa, okay, that way threw a trident right at me. Right at me, he did, and I, I managed to get past him. Okay, so somewhere over here has to be that station, right? Ow, okay, um, okay, swim, swim in jagged patterns, zigzag, zigzag, swerve. That's right, don't let him, give him a moving target. Don't let him just get right behind you, I bet. Let's see, I... I kind of want to look behind me, but I kind of don't. Here we go. Can we look behind me like that? Yep, there they are. Whoa, okay. Yeah, he's sure got a lot of those tridents. Now, which direction am I going? How about up here? Yeah, let's try that. Let's try going up here. I think this looks more familiar. Right? So, there and there. Oh, my goodness. Don't let me get lost. Oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. Okay, the station will be that way. Oh, that's good. I would not want to be lost. This is kind of interesting when you... Can I set myself that way? No, I keep going under the water. So this will be... That's kind of irritating. All right, let's go under the water a bit like this. Got plenty of water breathing, so we're going to be okay. Well, I'm, ex I'm glad that happened. I was worried we weren't going to find anything interesting at all. So is this where I left everything? What the... What? Was it right there the entire time that I... Wait, this is not... This is not where I left stuff. This is not where I left stuff. Okay, so this is not... Maybe that's where I left stuff? I think it is. Oh, I wish that I had a bed with me. Oh, again, wishing will not make it so. Let's go in here. It was right here the entire time, so close to us. Let's see if we can sink underwater a little bit. Oh, nice. Probably some more treasure chests under here, too. Oh, lucky us! Let's see what's under here. Yep, okay. I think we have to dig our way through again. Why is that? Is there an easier way in here that I'm just not seeing? Probably. And more emeralds. That's great. Lots of those. Oh, an experience potion. That's... That's cool. Bottle of enchanting. Leave you here. I really should be taking all of these. I can make those into iron blocks, and you can stay there. All right, what else can we find here? How's the water breathing? Looking good so far. Let's get under this. Sink on down into those. That's cool. Those are trap doors. All right, so here we go again. There's a chest here. Wow! Okay, hmm. Well, we don't need... We don't want those. That seems cool. Um, we do want this. Oh, look, regular potatoes. Oh, good. We do want those. Uh, what? Wow, so much junk I have here. I don't need you. Uh, coal is always good. Nope. 
Blast protection, mending. I don't really need those. I don't really need those either. But we will take... You know what? We're running out of room. We're not going to take any of that stuff. And we're also running out of air soon. So let's just be on our way. See if we can... Okay, give it a moment. There we go. Now there's stuff. Another buried treasure map. That's cool. Um, we'll definitely take that. How are you guys? Your cobblestone. Here's some wood. I don't need you. And an empty map. All right, take you as well. Bread, we'll leave you there. Got plenty of bread at home. All right, and let's go on up here and see if we can get back to our boat and go home. So one thing I've noticed is that during the daytime, it seems a lot less dangerous under here. So I think the, the, the terrible zombies probably get more active in the dark. And you know what? I wonder where that turtle went. I, I don't know. I wonder if we can make friends with turtles. I should read up on that and see how turtles work. Oh, I'm running out of air. Okay, let's go back up here. The respiration helmet will, of course, help. There we go. And now we can swim some more. Should have plenty of air to get over there. I wish there were a better way to swim sort of at the surface without that constant splishing. And I don't like that. All right, so let's go just this way. Almost over to the island we are. And boom, here we go. Huzzah! Did it! Okay, nice job. Nice job. So let's see. If we go this way and that way and that way, we should get home again. So I'll see you all over there. And there we are. Back home again. So that is great news. Back here with Bertram and, and Reginald and all our other friends, we can plant some potatoes now, and we can do all sorts of cool stuff. And again, we're going to do underwater base stuff, but not down there anymore. Now we're going to move out that way and do the underwater base near all the cool underwater stuff. I don't know what to do there yet. Something. But we're going to have to do something cool, like underwater farms, so we can bring the cows over and other stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I think it'll be interesting, because the underwater stuff looks very cool, and we're going to figure out what to do with turtles. What do we even do with turtles? We'll figure it out. Okay, I'll see all of you in the next episode, all right? Bye-bye.